Welcome back. If you're hosting a holiday party, we're going to need, you know, what wine and cheese to serve. Have no fear. Chris and Sandro with Chef Mark from the Fed to tell us what to do and how to do it. I'll let you guys take it away from here. Well, yeah, we just elevated Mark to chef. He's a general manager. He's but a I'm general sure manager. Good in the yes. kitchen as well, right? I can, I can hang in the kitchen. That's good. Yeah. I'd be happy to. So why don't you tell us first off how important it is to pair the right wine with the right cheese? I think that it's a really, really fun time for the holidays to invite your guests into your home and experiment, have some fun with it. But there are some certain rules that we try to stick to. Um, the first offering that I have for you with the uh, sparkling wine is going to be a Prosecco. Is that this one right yes, here? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Okay. So nice, light, crisp, clean. And it's going to pair well with our first cheese, which is Telegio. So one of the rules. Cheers. Of, oh. Cheers. So where's the Telegio? Is that this one? Yes, sir. All right. So I want to take a, oh, this is a soft cheese. Yes. Oh, man, it's like stuck to the table. I'll just rip a little there piece off go. there. There you go. All right. So you, so you like pairing Prosecco with Telegio. I like pairing a sparkling wine. Okay. with a soft cheese. Would you do it with a champagne too? Absolutely. Okay. Brie is a really perfect okay. example of this too, but Let's I thought this try. morning we would go Italian. So, and, and why do you go Prosecco with the soft trouble. cheese? What? A sparkling. Okay, so it's the sparkling that kind of yep. makes the pairing mm. so tasty. Yeah, and I just think Prosecco is really clean. It's really crisp. You get a little bit of peach on the back end as well, too. You get some earthy notes with the cheese kind of pairing together. And I think it's a really nice introduction to the meal. It is. I'm not big on soft cheeses, but when you put it with a Prosecco, I think it goes quite well. Awesome. And I did get a little tiny hint of that honey that you have right there. Yeah. And so kind of, you know, And almonds is another perfect thing, too, Sandra, that you can pair with uh, uh, warmed almonds is great with Prosecco when you're inviting your guests in. And then as far as Prosecco, Prosecco goes, do you have a particular type that you like when you when you talk about you know inviting folks to your Prosecco home? Prosecco is Italian, Prosecco is Glera, and any one of them, this is one of my favorites. We just do happen to have it on the menu, but um, any one of them is fantastic. Can't go so wrong. You can't, no, especially at this price point. So. All right, let's move on to the middle cheese. What are we doing that and what so, wine? So the second pairing is actually one of my favorite whites ever. Um, La Doucette is a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire region, and this is Montasio. Montasio is kind of the new Parmesan, if you will. Oh, the new Parmesan. So a little okay. bit nutty, okay, resembling Parmesan, but the pairing here with a perfectly balanced wine is absolutely fantastic. Tell me one more time the name Montasio. of this. Montasio. Montasio. Hmm. That is delicious. It's kind of mild. There's not a lot of bite to this. Nope. A little mm -hmm. bit nuttiness on the back end, but pairing it with it, even more fun. It's not quite as sharp as a, as a traditional Parmesan. Yep. Mm, okay. That goes well with the wine, though. Yep. Mm. You can sprinkle it over your pasta as well, too. Um, it's, 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 it's wonderful. And this wine too, super balanced. A little bit of citrus, stone fruits as well, lemongrass on the back end. One of my favorite Sauvignon Blancs. And $40 retail, absolutely fantastic. So if you are entertaining at home, give us like a couple of your key t tips. Have, Obviously you want to be well stocked yeah, have, and have a variety. Have fun with it. You know, really, really have fun with it. Listen to your guests as well too. Try different things, try new things. Um, have a really, really nice offering and, uh, and yeah, just you know, maybe try something new every single time as well, too. We like to do like the, the big board on the uh, on the island at home and uh, yeah, just kind of interact and have fun. And it's a real, real nice topic uh, uh, conversation. All piece. right, let's get to the other cheese, the final cheese, the final pairing here. So the final cheese is going to be a Welsh cheddar. Ooh, and thick. I thought we'd end with a red wine, too. So hands of time, stag's leap wine. Um, really, really beautiful blend. And that's where we're drinking right now. Uh, blends are trending. So this is a Cabernet Merlot blend, a little bit more Cabernet dominant. And mm. the Welsh cheddar is going to be a nice combination between like a sharp cheddar and like a white cheddar. Yeah. Really, really in the middle. This is incredible. That pairing is so good together. I like that cheddar a lot. Now quickly, the Fed obviously offers a lot of other dishes. Take us through these quickly. So farm to table, um, our chefs have creative control and they do an absolutely fantastic job. So Chef Michelle and Chef Brian put together some dishes for us this morning. Tuna poke. Um, this is a franzipan, which is an almond and paired uh, French tart. We have an in-house pastry chef as well, too. That's good. Um, a lote Caesar. So if you're familiar with like Mexican street corn mm -hmm. and a Caesar salad, they kind of mirror each other, match a little bit lime on the top. We also make our own pasta in-house as well, too. So that is the shrimp aglia olio, which is just midnight pasta or the garlic <laughs> and olive oil. Something quick and easy and delicious that My we do in the restaurant. Kind of simple. Yes, right, right? Yeah, very yeah. simple. And then that's just an example of one of the many offerings for the charcuterie platter that we do. You know, surprisingly so enough, pretty. Sandra and I know how to make that rose. We do, except do ours really? wouldn't look quite, quite no, like that. Quite no, that just, just a little no, subpar. No. This is all absolutely fabulous. You know, the other thing too, if you are entertaining to kind of take a little bit of the stress off, you can yeah. always kind of carry out, right, and order. For sure, and, and absolutely. Just, bring all of this in. Yeah, and a couple of glasses of wine helps with that and as well. And you're so. set. Yeah. All right, Mark, thanks a lot. The Fed is where you go to find out all about these great wine pairings with the cheeses and the delicious food. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. General manager. Great. Wants to be a chef, but he's a general manager right now.